against. Oh no, he he just walked onto the stage. He's got an op who's his opponent? Is it Ryu? Okay, so Austin's no, no, no. gonna commentate the wrestling match. I'm gonna commentate, I'm gonna commentate the, commentate the match. Smash yeah. match. So we got Cloud and Pikachu over here in the land of the video games. Yeah. On Stadium Two, uh, I'm not gonna front. I think Pikachu mixes the hell out of. He's Cloud fighting here. Jacked from Fall Fantasy X. Ken versus Jacked happening. Oh, that's hype as hell. Yeah, dude, it's the city <laughs> versus Street Fighter, man. Wow. Okay, All right. I'm done. I'm done. Let's go. Yeah, Pikachu <laughs> versus Cloud. John Switch fighting off against Mercury. And. What? In my opinion, I think Pikachu just rocks Cloud. Yeah. There's so much in Pikachu's kit that allows him to just break zone, to combo through, escape from his uh, his long-reaching normals. It's like, there's so much. There's so much that Pikachu can do, especially if this match brings itself off stage, where John Switch has every tool in his kit that's able to stop Cloud, even with Limit. Yeah, especially with Limit. Like, okay, got the thunder. You see him going up to the air like that. It's going to give Mercury kind of a free way to get back down onto the ground. John Switch mixing up his recovery, right? Because he can actually go for the Skull Bash like that mid-air to try to transition where which side of the stage he's going to be landing on. Okay, down air for Mercury. Or down tilt, sorry. Going to pop him up. Got another cross slash coming his way. I like that response from John Switch a hair too far away. And for landing that forward smash. Extremely important. I'm not really a fan of these thunder jolts that are coming out from John Switch. I feel like if he just puts out some more nares, he's going to find those opportunities that he wants to end out the stock. But the quick attack approach is kind of neat. Mm. The reason he's throwing out the thunder jolts is because he's trying to like set up so he can run right behind it, so it forces Mercury to pay attention to it, even if it doesn't hit him or his shield. It's a fact that's another distraction, so John Switch tried to try to go away. Mercury tried to go for a turnaround up beam, but that must have been a miss input because that would have killed. But that's going to do the job. Just run off the platform, go for a back air while falling, fast falling onto the stage. It's going to be stock number one going in Mercury's favor. Cross Slash going to tack on an easy 21 damage. Now Pikachu from John Switch trying to catch him with the Thunder. A lot of back airs being swung from Mercury. I feel like the Pikachu might be a bit scared because now Mercury's not afraid to swing. And he's getting pretty far along with it. He's got his limit back, returns to the stage without expending it. He's got an opportunity to throw out the Blade Beam, and that's exactly what he's going to do. Multi-hits on the shield, give the shield poke, and this damage lead is just continuing to build out. And that's the up out of shield that we were talking about earlier that Mercury wanted to go for. He can manage to find the turnaround, goes for the back air right above the Thunder Jolt. Once the forward air forces out the air dodge, and this is all according to plan, because he got the forward tilt and a back air dropping off the platform. It gives him plenty of time to charge up his limits. And we might see a cross slash coming his way. No, it's going to be a back throw. Yes. Gonna be ending out that stock, too. Destroyed the limits. I mean, just like in Final Fantasy VII fashion, if you get knocked out, man, you lose all of your limit upon that Phoenix Down Revival. And that hurts. Back air calls out the quick attack. Get out of here. You're not moving first, man. I have a counterattack ready to go. But Mercury's still sitting in a really comfy lead right now. Mm -hmm. Got John Switch on the last stock. And I actually like that Mercury's Ooh. taking a bit more of like a... He's been playing a bit more passive. Wait for your Pikachu to commit to something, back up a little bit, and then swing hard. And he's swinging pretty hard when he's getting these hits in. I know. You saw that back air, man. You changed right because that back air actually gave him limit. So he's like, okay, I, I sense limit time. Immediately got for the limit break cross slash right afterwards. That was just such a good conversion. Because that was just good recognition of what was going on in the battlefield. He tries laying down on the ground. John Switch denying it with a forward air. I think he ate his double jump there, so this is enough time to shine if I push him off stage. Where's out the air dodge? Not going to be able to find the mark into the thunder. Gets hit by the limit cross slash to send him flying at 99% damage. Almost catching with a down smash, too. This man is crazy. Why is he going for these haymaker options? But more importantly, Austin, why are they working? So many of these random hits have connected. It's because they're not random. He's actually throwing them out in an orderly fashion. He's trying to force an approach from John Switch, but you know what? Gets the dash attack out of shield, and Jack just body slammed the crap out of Ken <laughs> Masters in the background. <laughs> Holy schmoly. Okay, John Switch sitting at 114%. Got some more up airs coming his way again and again. Try not to let him lounge. Mercury finds his way down with the down air. Clouds, oh my god, wanted the golf swing. Sword. Facing the wrong direction. Sword too big. Not big enough. Not big enough. Oh, God, Katz is the double jump. This is really bad. Oh. How did that whiff? The dead zone of forward smash. How did that happen? Up airs coming again from John Switch. Really this is hungry. such a haphazard match. He's trying to go for the punish. Has limit ready to go. Potential blade beam might be coming his way. Maybe a cross slash. 
Well then Shield, he was waiting for John Switch to hit his shield so he could go for an upbeat out of shield. He applies some shield pressure, not too much out of it. John Switch is going for a dash attack to push him off stage. He has to fade away to avoid the thunder. Managed to swing at him, send him back to the other side. 149% on John. Just trying to space these back airs, net out the stock. He needs to get something done fast. Oh. Forward tilt going to be the answer? It is as we go into game two. He just went for a punish, man. Pikachu was spamming dash attack. Into the John Switch just wanted the dash attack so badly because that would have like put him up really in a bad position, which is why he was going for that. And speaking of dash attack, that's one thing I'm not really seeing from Mercury too often. You don't, you're not seeing Cloud just throw the fusion swords at his opponent, you know? All right, what's going on in this wrestling match? I need to I double check what's going on. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like Ken is still up. It looks like he's really tired. I don't see Jex. Is he on the ground? I think Jex on the ground. I mean, I did Ken win? Oh, he kicked him! He kicked him while he was oh, down on the that's ground! That's kind of dirty. Oh, he's got him by the head. Throws him at the corner. Oh, nuts. <laughs> Punch him in the chest. You heard that? He hurt his hand in the process. Oh. But he's walking away. Okay, Jex looking. He's hurting. Yeah, he want his shoulder is hurting. He goes for the drop kick. Oh, where's going? Back throw! Throws him right on Yo, him. He actually, back through him. he actually back through him. <laughs> Yo, screw Smash, man. We got wrestling going on in the background. <laughs> this is sick. <laughs> All right, you got the kicks. Now, for okay. those of you with us who are still tuned in and not able to watch the wrestling, don't you worry. We still got an all another game with us as we go into game two on Town and City. Hey, here we go, Johnson. That is hype as hell, dude. That is definitely hype. All right, forward air. I think he got the double jump. He has no resources, only the air dodge. This is John Switch's stock to take. He's got to be careful about how many of these reps he gets in. Yeah, on, yeah, because like, if he builds up the limit to full, it gives him a free recovery. Right there, that was the, that was when he was over. Mickery tried to catch John Switch with the upbeat and just slam him off stage. That was a fantastic start for John Switch after losing that first game. That's all you got to do against Cloud. Is the second you see him off stage without his double jump, you got to abuse it. That's exactly what John Switch was doing those back airs. Good golly. Super early lead for him to take here into game two, but still plenty of time for Mercury to pick this back up. I feel like Talon City, a really even stage for both of these characters. The way that Cloud can contest the space, but then also that's a lot of space for Pikachu to run around on. Okay. Got by the second swing of Climb Hazard. The back air's a try. You saw him. He knew he was going to go for a double jump right there, and he had the back air as an answer just a, too far down below him vertically. If he would have caught that, he would have been dead. Okay, up B again after going for the limit cross slash. Great option right out of it. Make sure it's kind of safe on the landing, too. And he's been recognizing that every time he puts out a wayward move, John Switch is on the move waiting to punish. That's why, that's why earlier when Mercury was on stage, I was emphasizing a lot that I wanted to see a lot of those climb hazards come out just as a get off me tool. Yeah, you're not going to get any real follow up off of it. And yeah, it's not killing anytime soon. But it's still that little bits of damage, and more important, it's that security of your stock. Mm. You see again, he lands the dash attack on the edge, sent him flying, he's got limit ready to go. He actually got the shield poke. That was okay. a really smart tool okay. from Mercury because he recognized, okay, if you're going to hold shield, it's going to dwindle on itself naturally, especially after this like empty hop. The longer you hold that, eventually I can apply shield pressure or just poke you. So that was just good awareness from Mercury. Another dash attack to just catch that landing. And he's looking to try to finish off the stock too with a downer, try to get that spike off stage. No punish. That was a that was a, that was that was definitely just him like getting a little scared just often to try to reset, right? So you yeah. guys, he, he's at he's bleeding. He's at 134%. Like there's a good amount of pressure in the situation too, because like this is Mercury's opportunity to make it out of pools. He's gonna have to do it loser's side. Same yeah. thing for John Switch, of course, but he's also down a game, so he can't afford to lose any more stocks. Really. But did he remember to pack his swim trunks? I don't know. To make it out of pools, man. It's very important. Because I forgot mine. I was really sad. I, I wanted to get I wanted to go to the hotel. Oh my god, forward smash? Trying to catch that roll onto the stage. Another blade beam, trying to go for the backer after that jump as a punish. Up throw, good it's night. It's just gonna kill. You don't need to confirm the thunder. It's just gonna kill outright. Vertical head, but. There you go, back airs, continuing into a forward air. He still has his double jump. I like the pressure. Good on Mercury, saving his double jump that time around. Waits for John to make the first move before committing to his resource. Because that, that's a, such a valuable resource for Cloud. Okay, oh. if, you, if you're going to re-grab the ledge, you lose invincibility. And you're going to pay the price. And uh, honestly, that, that was like 1,500 kill if I've ever seen anything. Another 
Cross Slash coming out from Limit Break. Taking on pretty easy damage on safe climb hazards. Is going to get punished. Not too hard from John. All right, just Shark on the platforms. It hasn't worked out too well for John Switch, but he's got plenty of this pressure on going. Combo reaching kind of high into the skies. Oh, and picking up from the landing with the down air. All right. That could have been John's chance. He was at a double jump. So Mercury just went for that ledge completely because he knew that that was like the safe button. Okay, again, another climb hazard to add a shield. Tries to go for the dash tag. John just waiting it out. Tries to catch him with a thunder. Mercury double jumping away. Avoids the up smash, but no punish. And grabbing at a cross slash when you're that far away, super unsafe. you got to respect it. Oh, we got the drag okay. down. We're coming to a game three. Nice catch on that thunder. Again, being dragged down into Pikachu-like in that fashion. Has, he packs a punch. Electrifying punch. He didn't expect it. I mean, that, that was a good bait, actually. Because it looked like John Switch was going to go for the down B before he came into the double jump. But he ran up to force out the recovery from Cloud to drift to the left. And then committed to the uh, down B to catch him. It was, all, it was all set. One thing that I like in particular about that setup was the fact that we've constantly seen the Pikachu go for uh, setups in the air. We've seen the aerial thunder confirms that they've all whiffed. And but off the tightrope, Jack just jumps onto Ken Masters and elbows his chest. I'm sorry, what were you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Pikachu worked. Did Jack win? Yes. Jack just beat Ken Masters. I mean, he is a... Well, spoilers. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll move on. Go play Final Fantasy X. Play the whole thing. Play the whole thing. There's a reason why it hurts when he, when he drops on you. Yeah, get 95 hours into the game and then get back to Austin. Yeah, yeah get back to me, man. Is it 95? It's PS2. Kind of a long game. It's a long game. PS2, yeah. game three, man. It's one of the only Final Fantasies I've played, so, like, I can actually vouch for this one. Yeah. Nonetheless, though, the only Final Fantasy we're worrying about is Seven and Cloud. Technically, I guess, Not Adam again. Children. Not again! History repeats itself. Oh my god, That's just exactly how it be. As game two starts off exactly the same way, this time a little quicker because he caught him off too low that time around. That's exactly all you need to do against Cloud. That's why a lot of top players are actually thinking that Cloud's too volatile to play as because of situations like that. You get knocked off like that, you're done for. It's tough to deal with. Yeah, man. I mean, like, you saw how quick John Switch was able to get that stock in. Yeah. And now look at all the momentum. He's oh just my. steamrolling Mercury. And he was so on point right there, right? You saw him trying to get the Thunder Jolt right afterwards upon that double jump, because uh, he knew if he got caught by that Thunder Jolt, he would have been done for. Okay, down tilt, just tries to cross him up. Looks for a normal cross slash, just like get him off of him. He's got limit ready to go. See how much he can get off of this. Well, I guess he's just going to go for the Blade Beam. Oh, he went no. for a super deep again, cross slash. Again, super risky. Puts himself in a bad position. Gave up stage control in the process just to get spiked out of into the blast zone. Oh, Mercury kicking himself over that one. And honestly, he's at an emotional disadvantage in the word, wise words of Nick C. Like, he, it, it, he struggled. Like, it's actually a big deal when you find yourself winning game one, having a close game two, and now you're down three stocks to one. How do you recover from this mentally? It's all, I mean, this is a mental game. Like especially, like, everything is riding on the line of these, these next three stocks he's got to try to take, and this last one he's sitting on. And John has so much momentum. We've also seen that Johnson has been playing a lot more passive this game in particular. He's like, got a lead. He like, can play with it. He's got projectiles. He's been letting the Thunder Jolts do the work for him time after time after time. And we finally saw a dash attack coming out from Mercury. You don't see that too often. Okay, look out for that forward air. 152%. Literally just one sword swing away, which is why he's going for these dash attacks. He knows it'll kill at this percent. Drag down. Ooh, Good all right, combos. That's cute. I like the drag down. Again, whenever you just ready to protect it like that, that close to the ground, it makes the follow-ups way easier to go, uh, land. Backer going for the double jump. There we go. Finally finds his mark with a dash attack after throwing about five of those suckers. But now he's got two more stocks to take. Can he do it? It's going to be such a hard fight ahead of him. And he's got to avoid that neutral air. As the match has gone on, Johns has gotten a lot more consistent with his nair confirms, whether it be into the combos or into trying for a kill setup. Like... It's so dangerous. And now, like, Mercury has no other stocks to fall back on. He's just going to be building up this percentage more and more. Can't afford to really go for trades. And the Pikachu has been winning the passive game. So, like, it's such a rough deal for Mercury, especially oh, as he gets God. caught by the Thunder once again. And you saw Mercury go for that empty hop. But you know what? You're going to be cut off stage by the downer. Mercury going down with a 2-1 finish, ending up at 30 
third place in that chair. That poor plastic <laughs> chair, man. It fell so slowly to the ground as he got up. If you couldn't feel it, then you know yeah. it as you saw the chair drop, man. Every single kill was the same way. Yes, the first one wasn't a downer, but they were all off stage and they were abusing that Mercury was out of double jumps and just could not get back down to the stage. So John Switch moving on into top 32, loser's side of Smash Adelphia 2019 here in, not Philadelphia. Oaks. 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 PA. Oaks, PA. Yeah, we're like really close to Philadelphia, though. It's still like. Okay, and I'm really close to Staten Island. Yeah, that's, it doesn't that's mean true. I'm Staten Island. Uh, do you want to be hey, Staten Island? No. Downer. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be it for this block, guys. That's wave A is complete. We're going to be moving on into wave B. Guys